We want to take a look outside with First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman. Brian, again, another gorgeous day today. Yeah. Um, I hope a lot of people got to go out and enjoy their Sunday, but it did seem to be a little bit hotter Just a earlier. touch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, notably different from yesterday, Anna, in that we have a little more humidity in place today. Not a dramatic amount, but a notable difference from that, frankly, refreshing air mass that we had just 24 hours ago. Uh, but this is kind of a precursor to a much bigger surge of heat that's going to start to settle in over the next 24 to 48 hours. Not necessarily getting to dangerous levels, thankfully, by the look of things, but a notable uptick and a pretty big one uh, day over day here. But as far as this evening's temps are concerned, if you're uh, wrapping up your Sunday evening, maybe firing up the grill, things like that. And you want to still plan for some of these uh, slightly hotter temps. It is 88 degrees in Spartanburg and Gaffney, 90 degrees Union right now. Newberry, the hottest spot at 92, Greenville at 89. So nothing unpleasant, really. Just, again, a couple degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Certainly 86, the current temp, Asheville, 85, Hendersonville, and then a couple spots like Waynesville and Bakersville down in the 70s right now. Much like yesterday, as we look at the next uh, 12 hours here, it's going to be another very quiet night. We'll start in these 80s uh, in the upstate areas through about the uh, roughly 9 to 10 o'clock time frame. Mostly sunny skies like we have out there right now. And then we will clear out nicely again overnight. And still with fairly low levels of humidity, we should see our low temps get pretty comfortable down in the low 70s by daybreak. Mountains a bit closer to uh, the upstate temps for tonight. Not quite that, you know, almost uh, 7 to 8 degree split we've had over the last few nights. We'll start in the 80s, sunny skies early this evening, then heading towards some mid and upper 60s for low temps instead of those low 60s, upper 50s that we've had over the last few nights. Clear skies expected again with the potential for some patchy fog into tomorrow morning's commute. Overall setup, though, not dramatically different from yesterday. In fact, nearly identical, for being honest. High pressure still very much in control here, centered still over parts of eastern Kentucky and Tennessee, and that's going to get some reinforcement with the upper level ridge of high pressure kind of running over the top of this one here. That's going to help to bring in the hotter temperatures, but it will keep the air mass at least very stable, very quiet. So even as the heat builds, still really no major chances for storms in the next few days. Looking at the humidity forecast, though, you'll see here. This is why I say we're not really expecting the same potentially dangerous levels of heat that we saw just a couple of weeks ago. You look at the Monday, Tuesday time frame here, you know, we start getting back into muggy territory, but it's not till you know, really Wednesday, later in the day, Thursday at the earliest where we start to get a little closer to that oppressive territory. But thankfully, by then, the temps will dial back slightly. Still, though, this is heat you want to make sure that you're prepared for. We, of course, had our heat indices today staying in fair territory. Territory, only getting into the low 90s in a lot of spots. Upstate, though, tomorrow it's going to start to feel closer to the 100 degree mark as we head into the afternoon and then maybe upping that by another degree or two. Uh, so a high heat index, certainly, as we get toward uh, Tuesday with the uh, high temperatures peaking there. But again, not quite getting into that extreme uh, category, thankfully. Future tracks showing, though, the continued uh, quiet weather will enjoy this evening into the overnight period. Mostly clear skies tomorrow morning. So get the kids out the door for school, you off to to work. Things are going to be in good shape, but just like this morning, folks in the mountains, while you don't see a lot going on here, there's likely to be some patchy fog for you to deal with. But then tomorrow afternoon, it's really mostly going to be about the heat. As you can see, quiet weather rain supreme through tomorrow into the morning hours on Tuesday, and that at least will be the trend through the middle of the week. But much more of the focus now on the heat. 97, the expected high upstate for tomorrow, up to 98 with some low 100s for the real feel little bit of relief Wednesday into Thursday as high scale back to the low 90s for a couple of days. Isolated storms will pop back into the forecast beginning on Thursday and going into the upcoming weekend, but does not look like any major rain outs. Just you know, again, really a lot of that heat hanging on with some mid 90s through about Saturday. And then the mountains also looking at a stretch of 90s beginning tomorrow through Wednesday, mostly sunny through that stretch and then 80s and 90s with isolated storms from Thursday on into next weekend. Anna.